Hey everybody, welcome to the first Wisdom Day. I wanted a combination of wisdom and Wednesday without being too pretentious. So I just, uh, I want this to be kind of a down to earth segment. On Sunday, I did a talk kind of about life philosophy. I realized that something I want to do more often is share these kinds of thoughts, but I want to stay consistent with doing my original songs on Sunday. And so, new segment, Wisdom Day. Why political systems are irrelevant. I'm also going to state off the top, I don't think that they are entirely irrelevant, but they kind of are. Here's why I think that. People in general get way too caught up in the details. And people, you, you have hardline capitalists and you have hardline socialists, and they're at each other's throats. And I think this is... This this idea is something people can can take beyond just political systems, but points of disagreement on all different levels. But let's look at it from a focus on on politics. If you look at socialists versus capitalists, you know capitalists will tell you that socialism is basically evil and and lead, leads to horrible things, and socialists will tell you that capitalism is evil and leads to you know rich greedy people and impoverished masses. And and then capitalists say socialism leads to totalitarian power and i think in general a point that i want to make is if you look more into it with an open mind you'll probably realize like everyone's right so if you're like if you're if you're finding yourself on one side and you're thinking you're looking at these people this group of people saying that this group of people is the one they have these things wrong and that group is saying this group you if you look at it closer you'll realize like they're all they're all right they all have points valid points and, and they all have historical context. What's more important than political systems, what's more important than understanding some nuance about what makes this person right or this person wrong is, and this kind of goes back to what I talked about on Sunday, is a commitment to being good, like a commitment to being loving, a commitment to being patient. I think whatever your political system is, if you have hardworking, ethical people in your political system, your, your system's going to work and you're going to thrive as a society. And so that's the basis. It's not, the basis isn't whether you're capitalist or whether you're socialist. The basis is, are, are people being, do people care about each other? The basis is, are people uh, trying to make themselves the best that they can be? Are they working hard? Are they sacrificing? Are, and, you know, that's the basis of, of what makes the society good. You could structure it in different ways. You know, some people make the argument that people need to have incentives. Like, uh, that's what the argument from capitalists that I often hear capitalists make. Capitalism is the best system because it incentivizes people to work hard. And without it, people aren't going to work hard. Well, socialists don't feel the same way. Left Leftists don't feel the same way. That might be true for those people. Maybe that's why they're capitalists. Uh, and then... For, for socialists, it's not. Socialists feel like you need a government. I mean, that's an irony that I've never even considered. Government needs to do sort of social services for people because people in and of themselves won't do it. And in my experience, a lot of, a lot of uh, the conservatives, capitalists, they feel like that gets taken care of in the private sector with charities. The private sector is actually better at addressing those those concerns. You have these different, differing opinions, differing sides. But again, I think the fundamental is the more that every individual cares about the individual that's next to them, is willing to work hard, is willing to sacrifice, is willing to try to prioritize meeting the needs of what, what's around them, then the problems go away. When everyone is just out to get for themselves with no consideration for others and is fixated on getting pleasure and, or getting riches or whatever, then you're, you're not going to be solving the problem. I really think it is that simple. And so I think the main point of, of why I want to bring this up is I think people people's energy gets derailed by these sort of senseless intellectual discussions. You may you can you can develop better systems. I think systems are important and the way that you organize things it it does matter. The fundamental building block of it all is ethical people, healthy people and just caring for each other. And so I think that's that's where it's got to start, and then uh, it it's not going to matter if you the, the capitalist fears of the totalitarian of the totalitarian uh, socialist government. If people are ethical at the top level, then you don't have that problem. Uh, I think a socialist society probably flourishes as long as it's ethical, and I think that the same thing it's true for for cap a capitalist society as well. It's going to flourish if people are really ethical. 
And so you have with the capitalist society, the, the powers might balance in different ways, you know, w- with these societies. But uh, I just think the thing, the driving factor is is the ethics of the people involved. Um, and so I think the more, if you want to change a society, if you want to uplift a society, it really starts with the hearts of every individual. And so we really just need to inspire ourselves. We need to inspire the people around us on an individual one by one basis to be more committed to each other, more giving, and less, less um, I guess, lower our expectations, I think would be, would be helpful as well. Implore better qualities like patience. What I'll end this video with is just talking about applying that same, this same idea to all points of disagreement. When you have different groups of people that are upset at each other, for different reasons. I'm not saying that 100% of the time both sides are right. You know, there's definitely people can be wrong. I'm not I'm not trying to make the point that people can't be wrong. But I am saying that a lot of times disagreements have merit merit on both sides. And when you just wall yourself off and just think I'm right, they're wrong, then you you're wrong. <laughs> That's actually when you're wrong because you're not open to learning about your areas of lack of understanding. Everyone needs to be more open to the idea that they don't know everything. I know we've got the internet. I know we, I know that means we do know everything because we can look it up on our phone in a second. If we don't know it, we do because Google will tell us. But actually, we don't know everything because we only have our individual experience. And so we need to, we need to gain perspective by getting by getting many different vantage points there's so many different perspectives in this world and so the more that we're open to learning about those perspectives uh the better and yeah i think the base the basis of it all when you get lost in in this uh conjecture and theory and strategy and all this there's tons of different strategies that will work but the basis of it all is hard work ethics love caring for each other commitment the basis of it all is good principle, good qualities.